welcome back to Healthy Recipe. Today we're going to be making a Manchurian cauliflower recipe. I'm going to make this recipe without oil. We're going to bake it first so it gives it a nice outer crust so it's crunchy without using any oil to fry. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So let's get right to work. Alright, so this is what we're using for ingredients today. I have here about a half a head of cauliflower florets and I use these to make my buffalo cauliflower so I had um, about half of it left over so we're gonna be using it for that four cloves of freshly minced garlic water this is about uh, half a cup of water about three cups of flour this is organic flour two tablespoons of agave nectar about two tablespoons of soy sauce half a teaspoon of ginger powder half a teaspoon of garlic salt these are probably equal to two Thai chilies this is optional if you guys don't have uh, fresh chilies or you don't want it as hot you can use jalapenos or you could also use pepper flakes um, in place of heat or you could just leave it out about half a red onion and these are some chives from the garden I'm not gonna use all of this but this is just kinda like a, a topping to add a little bit of green color at the end and also a little bit more of that fresh onion flavor so that's basically all the ingredients that we're using first we're gonna create a batter coat our cauliflower and stick it in the oven so when you do this you want a little bit more flour than you want water so if you use three quarters of a cup of flour use about a half a cup of water just so it, it will help the cauliflower to be a little bit crunchier and puffier so it'll make it um, nicer if you use equal parts like a lot of the recipes I have seen um, it won't be as crunchy so we're gonna add just the water until we create a nice thick batter So this is about what we want. We want it nice and thick, just enough so it's wet enough to coat the cauliflower but not like a dough. So basically we're just gonna take a cauliflower and coat it and then place it on a silicone mat. I'm gonna try just to add it all and mix it all in at once. And I'm just going to add a little bit of garlic salt to give it a little bit of flavor to the batter. I want everything nice and coated. And now we're going to go ahead and place it on our sheet tray. And this is going to puff up really nice when it cooks. And it's going to give it a nice crunchy exterior. 
All right, so once we got the cauliflower placed on our sheet tray, we're gonna stick it in the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. And as we do that, we're gonna go ahead and start preparing our sauce. All right, and in the same pan that we just coated the cauliflower, so I have a little bit of that leftover flour slurry, we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce in that, so then it ends up coming out nice and thick. So first thing we're gonna add is a little bit of water, about two tablespoons, just to get the flour off of there, to make a slurry. So this is a zero waste recipe. And this is going to make our sauce nice and thick so it coats our cauliflower. We're going to add our sweetener. Soy sauce. about three quarters of a teaspoon of garlic salt half a teaspoon of ginger powder mix that all in Set this aside while the cauliflower cooks. And we're going to come back in 20 minutes and continue to assemble. Alright, so here is our cauliflower. As you can see, it developed a really nice outer crust. Um, amazing. This looks so much better than um, the previous times that I've done it with equal parts uh, water to flour. So it's a lot crunchier and puffier, and none of it is stuck to the silicone. So I don't even have to scrape it off. So basically I'm just gonna set these here to cool off for a little bit, and we're gonna go ahead and saute our ingredients. All right, so I'm just gonna cut about that much chives, and this is just for a topping. Add some green to the recipe and I'm gonna set these guys aside the onion I'm gonna feather it I'm gonna cut it actually um, to a quarter and then I'm gonna feather it really thin set that aside chilies can't forget the heat it's gonna cut these real fine and these are actually from my garden it's summertime here in Florida so the, the plants are not producing that much most of the flowers actually fall off um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start our walk and we're gonna go with 275 Fahrenheit or uh, medium heat on our induction cooker. If you guys want to get an induction cooker like this, uh, I have placed it in my Amazon affiliate store. Any of our products that we use, you guys can find them there. I'm going to use a little bit of veg broth to saute with. Going in with the minced garlic, the onion, and you just want to soften it. Get that aroma going. 
If you guys don't have veg broth, water will work. If you don't mind using oil, you could always saute with oil. We're just not using oil um, or any processed ingredients like that as far as fats in our food right now. Trying to lose those few quarantine pounds. So this is the oil free recipe. Alright, so we're going to saute that a little bit there and now we're going to bring in our cauliflower. Just want to soften that. You guys can see how crunchy that looks. Toss that a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and add our sauce in, just a little bit at a time, about half of it, stir it, as you can see it's already thickening. Beautiful. We're gonna go ahead, add in the chili for the heat. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and lower the heat to medium low. Add in our chives. Give it one final toss. Just to split those those chives in a little bit to give it some extra flavor. And we're pretty much ready to serve. We're gonna serve this over basmati rice. I'm gonna make a beautiful plate with it. Alright, so we got some rice here in our trusty rice cooker and just gonna put that under and this is some basmati rice that we had left over and we always have rice in our rice cooker um, this is really an awesome rice cooker is uh, aroma and uh, we eat rice almost every day pretty much every day so we always have some in there if you guys want to order this type of rice cooker like I said We'll, we'll provide the links for our affiliate store for Amazon and you guys can order it. All the products in there we've used or we, uh, we approved that are quality. So I'm going to serve it over the better white rice. And this actually looks amazing. The sauce is gooey, the cauliflower is crunchy, it's got a little bit of sweetness, heat, all those beautiful ingredients. Look at that. That looks amazing and it has absolutely zero oil. All right, so now for a little pop of color in the end, we're just gonna throw a little bit more of these chives just to make it prettier. And that is basically the recipe. I am really proud of this recipe. I love how it came out, absolutely beautiful. Definitely something I will be making in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends so we can bring the gift of healthy recipes into every home. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys really soon on the next one. All right, so here's the moment of truth, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a taste. It looks phenomenal. I am super, super happy. See if I can get a little bit of this rice with the cauliflower. All right, so I'm gonna give it a taste. <laughs> wow. Sweet. Got a little bit of kick from the Thai chili. I can taste the ginger, the garlic. That's a nice, beautiful crunch. 
Mmm. Incredible. Absolutely delicious. If you guys try this, I guarantee you, you will not be missing chicken at all. Mmm. Amazing.